Hi Leo, this is going to be your April mid-month reading slash, well, song channeling, whatever I get. I'm going to get into the song and then incorporate it with the reading. And what I got for you was another indie song, Imagination by Foster the People. Right off the bat, I got a bit of a sexual vibe. Fantasy. Very Seven of Cups. I mean, imagination, come on. As if someone's waiting or imagining an encounter, or that just represents the attraction. They can't help but fantasize about it. They can't help but just wonder what it's like. <laughs> wonder what what's like. I mean, the Empress is here and I'm seeing that as Leo's right now. This looks like someone wants to pour their heart out or something. In the beginning of the song, it's funny. He's almost speaking directly to someone. That's what I see with the Ace of Cups too, is if they, they need to say something. And they get these feelings off of their chest because there's too many, they can't, they can't be contained. Look at this. So much emotion here. It's like the, it's a new thing, it hit them like a ton of bricks. Some of the lyrics are, I wouldn't try to throw myself away. If you asked me, I'd say to be careful my love, at a death will leave the same. This is the first card out, that's why that creeps me out. <laughs> As if something ended. If you want me to stay, don't keep me waiting for it. Mm. Leo, are you guys making someone wait or are you teasing somebody? That's probably what it is. A lot of you are teasing somebody. That's why there's so much of this Seven of Cups because you give them a, you give them a taste of what it's like to be with you, what it's like to be with you sexually. It's very sexual vibe, I'm just saying. But it, I think you ended it. Or you shut them out. Yeah, you shut something out. And look, this, this looks like an offer to me. Maybe someone offered you money? End of a job? <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Someone transformed with the death card. This could be a Scorpio. So they wanted to give you something. It's like, here's my love and affection. <laughs> That's literally what it seems like. Someone, essentially someone wants a stable, solid relationship. This is a solid offer. Yeah, this is a solid person. I think they also changed quite a bit too. Leave the if you want me to stay, don't keep me waiting for it. Don't give me wait for it. This person literally wants to pour their heart out to you. This, well, this King of Pentacles, I feel like they really, 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 look at this. Deep, deep contemplation and thought. This, this, <laughs> and I think there was an ending here. Yeah, you left someone out in the cold. That you, you sort of cut them off, you put an end to this. Or you rejected their offer. Even though I think it was a solid one, maybe you're just, maybe you're doing this on purpose, Leo. You're teasing somebody on purpose before you actually give them, give them a taste of the Empress. Ooh, I might even name that the reading. They want a taste of the Empress. Ooh, very seven of cups. This person th spends a lot of time thinking about you. Something about them being solid. Come on, King of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you something new. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Come on. Ooh, I'm getting sugar daddy vibes. As if they can offer you. Commitment, a stable relationship, lots of money, lots of gifts. This could be a gift. A Scorpio, probably a water sign. It has to be, I swear. Water and earth in their chart or vice versa. So I want to offer you love. I want to offer you money. I want to give you, I want to give you everything. This person wants to spoil you. I'm getting that vibe. I spent a lot of time thinking about you, that seven of cups. So I'm kind of getting that with the four of swords. They spend plenty of time thinking about this. But I also think that there's a little bit of sadness there as if they missed out on an opportunity. So are you gonna keep me waiting? They think they think of how long it's been or something. Look, it's like three tries. They've already tried three times. But they're still getting left out. I'm determined to be seen. <laughs> so they, this person doesn't give up. They really don't. 
Well, you're also very... This person's like a fan or something. Come across that way. They, they really... They have a deep, deep acknowledgement with you. They see you for sure. This person wants to be with you. Want me to stay, don't keep me waiting for it. They, this person's also getting frustrated. I think that's what I'm seeing with this Five of Cups. They're upset. And I don't think you realize what you're doing to them. <laughs> like, what are you doing to me? This person's just hit by Cupid, totally smitten. <laughs> Not to be all weird, but this person literally sees, come on, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, this person sees almost everything with you. They see it for the long haul, King of Pentacles. There, a lot of thought went into this. They're not, I don't think they're the type to just date anybody or to go after just anybody. They view you as the Empress. That's the energy you're in. They view you as very abundant. <sighs> The Empress is also a mother, so they could see children with you, they could see see it all, but it's like they don't want to wait anymore. They want to just get on it, but what's keeping them from doing it? It's either you're teasing them or not letting this happen, or something's holding them back from doing it and they can't. Look, <laughs> he wants to give you so much. Alpha woman over here. Another lyric in that song is, we can't change the things we can't control. I see that as like, I can't change, I can't change my feelings. Cause I can't, I don't, I can't control them anymore. I, I just straight up, <laughs> this person loves you. What is this? <laughs> Almost an uncontrollable, they're sick of, they're sick of fantasizing about you. They want to make it a reality. Like how long are you going to make me wait for Either they're, either they're being um, cock-blocked by you or cock-blocked by someone else. Something else is getting in the way. Mm. Maybe fate or the universe is getting in the way. The universe says it's not time. And it seems like, you know, things just don't seem to work out. Wrong, right person, wrong time. I think that's what it is too. Like, what's the hold up? I just, I just want to be with them already. Or maybe, maybe this person screwed it up, Leo. Maybe three times they messed it up. Because they maybe they, that was what it was. They couldn't really express it. But they do see you as someone they want to be with. I think it scares them a little bit. But I think they're starting to realize we can't change the things we can control. Preach. This person gets it. I feel like in the past this person tried to stuff these emotions down, but then it, to their dismay, I really, I can't control these feelings. Sorry, they're already running over the cup. The Empress knows, the Empress knows. Another quote in that song is, I see us dancing by ourselves. We do it better with no one around. Just you and my imagination. This person... That's one thing they could be thinking about. Just you guys doing coupley things like dancing. I don't even think like I was getting a sexual vibe, but it's an almost romantic, pure sexual vibe. This is the type of person, not to get all weird, that would prefer making making love over rough sex or something. And remember, I said they could see you as the mother of their children. That's what I'm seeing as well. No wonder. We do it better with no one around. As if outside forces or fate or it just seems like the wrong timing. There's always something getting in the way of you two being together. So like I, they want this relationship and I think you do too. Fertility. It's almost, this person thinks of stuff like that. The long haul. Having kids. A home. Having the money with you, sharing it with you. Empress's fertility, they can see you. I, I almost feel like they straight up want to get you pregnant. And then I said they're sort of the, the romantic kind, they'd rather like make love and they, it's like they don't even care. 
That's the type of stuff this person thinks about. A hopeless romantic right here. And if they are Scorpio, Scorpio is very fixed. It's like they have their eyes fixed on you, fixed on the destination. Maybe this person, not to get all weird, maybe this person didn't even get with you yet in a sexual way. So they, all they can do is think of what it's like. But what's it like to be with the Empress? So the Seven of Cups, the, I think their mind does shift to sexual things sometimes. But for the most, for the most part, I think it's literally just imagining what it would like to be like to be with you. The kids, the family, the everything that comes with it, you know? There's nothing left to cry about. I guess I'm living in a drought. It's raining like it was before. Something that you never knew you needed more of. You're a drug, Leo. You're a drug this person never knew they needed more of. Remember I said? It's like, it's like they're sick of it. They're waiting. They need you. Once they got a taste of it, I feel like the Mary said they could have stuffed their emotions down, passed it off as nothing, but then, to their dismay, they happen to feel a lot for you. There's nothing left to cry about. I'm also seeing tears with this. This person has cried over you. But living in a drought, it's as if they're, they can't cry. I see that as they feel numb. They already cried so much. This person's away from you for sure. There's a forced distance, but I think part of me doesn't really see it as you rejecting them or teasing them. Maybe so. But I think it has to do with, you know, the basic life circumstances that get in the way of two people being together. You know, like a job. I have to work. Maybe they're with someone else. That's even juicier. It's like they already cried so much that it became dry, no more tears. Loss of hope. Really, when all they have left, all they can do is lament on the past. They're stuck in a past. Stuck, all they have is a memory. They really crave your presence. They're going, and they're, I think they're going through kind of like someone with a, a, a withdrawal from a substance. You're that substance, that love. It's got they miss the, your body too. Something about you looking very fertile. They miss that emotion as well, the way you make them f feel and something about being in your presence. They just straight up crave you. They're going through a withdrawal, like a kid like taking cake away from a, a fat kid, I guess. This person wants their cake. Maybe even literal cake. I think this person just really loves your body. That's what they think of. But it's in a very sacral way. Like, I need that right now. I'm going through a withdrawal. I can't stand being apart from you. <laughs> this is so interesting. But yeah, lots of Seven of Cups energy. Someone's really fantasizing about you, Leo. Can't, they literally can't even help it. Let me get some Angel Answers cards for this person that's reading. What do we have here? Anything else? This, ooh, these like flipped over. I guess I'll take them out. Look for a sign. Almost like, give me a sign. Ooh, remember I said it's almost like the universe is always cock-blocking this connection? Like, give me a sign, police. <laughs> Please, I will, they, they're just so desperate, it seems. Or maybe they're looking for signs, or maybe they're getting signs that maybe it is time. Hmm. Fell sideways again. It's up to you. What's up to you, though? Hmm. As if someone, maybe there is someone to blame for this. Look for a sign, it's up to you. It's almost as if they need to take the initiative. Maybe someone's about to take the initiative of something. Pour their heart out in some way. Maybe there is something you don't know. Maybe you've looked down at them because they, they have things it's hard to explain what's going on in their life.
her. Trust. Trust that when it happens, it's going to happen. I think that's this person's trying to have faith about it. They just really miss you. They're trying to trust in the universe. Trust that everything happens for a reason. I think you actually miss them too, Leo. That's what it is. Didn't I say that? That the divine, the universe is sort of put an end to this relationship for the time being. Something always gets in the way. But I think that's for a reason. It's it almost being put on hold. They're like, hold up. You guys can't be together just yet. <laughs> Almost like a spiritual awakening. <laughs> Look, recovery, bottom of the deck. You guys are put, a, you guys were taken away from each other for a reason. You guys need to grow to heal in some form, shape, or form. Change. Maybe, maybe it's because they needed to change. This person also seems seems very stuck in La La Land. <laughs> Very idealistic, and I think life just threw them a curveball. I think that's one of them, having to be away from you. They need to clean their act up. There's a reason you guys aren't coming together, it's because this person lacks something. Or they're awake, they're in the middle of a straight up awakening. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, they're harping on the past too much. And then the universe is like, listen, it's up to you to change, it's up to you to live in the moment. To trust that what's for you will come. I feel like this person also beats themselves up for really stupid things. And the universe is like, wake up call. Okay. Reconsider. Hmm. What do we need to reconsider? Thinking. Reconsider your thoughts and circumstances. This per maybe this person's doing something they know is not for them. Hmm. Let's reconsider. Ooh. Let go. Yeah, they, they need to trust the process. Do you really think this is for you? That's probably what's getting, getting in the way of this connection. This person is stuck in a job with a person. They're letting other people dictate their lives. Trying to control everything. Reconsider and let go. Because for all we know, they could be the reason, they could be the cock block in this relationship. It's like they want it, but they also don't. But I think it's for the wrong reasons. It's it's because they it's because of fear. The past made them like this. Well Okay. Wait, Leo, that's the end of your reading. I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe. And I really think this person's learning how to live in the moment because like I said, remember that imagination? This is probably the type of person that would rather think of somebody and imagine what it's like to be with them rather than just getting on it. They're not confident enough for that or something. But I think the universe sent them a wake up call. Like, you need to get out of your head and actually make some moves here. Let go. Stop trying to control it. This is definitely a daydreamer here. It's like, you can have this empress, but you, you have to put that fantasy into reality. If you know what I mean. Okay, Leo. Sandy, you're reading.